Our question at this time is a very good one in uh, reference to sin. And one wants to know exactly are all the sins that man could do, are all of the sins listed in the Bible? And connected with that is this. If not, then how do we know what sin is? Well, that's a very good question. Um, I w the short answer, of course, is no. Uh, all the sins that one could commit are not listed in the Bible. There are a list of sins. If you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, uh, Galatians chapter 5, 21 and 22, is, are, those are two references that you could go to and read about li a list of sins men might commit. Revelation 21 and verse number 8 is also another place where you'll find a listing of sins. But, but really, it's not a matter of having all the sins that man might ever possibly commit uh, listed in the Bible. That's really not the way the Bible is written. Okay? It's really not that way. If you had a Bible that all it said was, all it listed was all the possible sins, and thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, why, you'd have a Bible so large you couldn't carry it. And uh, like I said, it'd just be a listing of don't do this, don't, 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 don't. So how do we know what sin is? Well, what, what we find in the Bible, rather than a listing of thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, what we have is actually God's law written for us. His, what He expects of us is here. The book of 1 John tells us, in verse 3 and 4, that sin is a transgression of the law. So, on one side, if I transgress, that means if I go beyond what God has said, then that constitutes a sin. It is a, it's a transgression of God's law. James 4, verse 17 says, Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. And so here are two real good rules for us to remember. God's law has been laid out for us. If I transgress, that is, if I go beyond what God has said, if I add to it, we would say, that makes a sin. That constitutes sin. If I uh, fall short of it, I don't do what the Lord says. I fall, fall short, I omit something. That also constitutes sin. Uh, we find that, that that pretty much sums it up in that sense. So what I need to do is open up God's Word and find out what He has said. The New Testament is the rule of faith and practice for all people today. Uh, we live, uh, of course, after the cross of Christ, so Hebrews chapter uh, 7 uh, through 9, that, all that section, those chapters, deal with that uh, specifically, showing us, like in Hebrews chapter 9, 15, that because of Christ's death on the cross, it constituted or brought a, brought a new covenant into play. Hebrews chapter 8 talks about the new covenant and contrast it with the old. There's a new covenant under which we live today, this New Testament, and this is what we go by. And because that's true, then we really don't need a listing, as it were, a catalog of, of you know, 1,000 things that are sins or, or a million things that are sins or, you know, however many. You don't have to do that. What you have to do is go to what God said. Read what is said and follow it. Whenever I do as the Lord says, then I know I'm pleasing to Him. I know I've, I've fulfilled what He wants me to do. Whenever I'm motivated through love, okay, motivated to worship in spirit and in truth and doing it according to His will in all things, then I'm going to be saved. It is a transgression. That's where the problem comes in. Again, uh, we find this in 2 John, verse 9, and verse 9, beginning, where he says that whoever transgresses, whoever goes beyond and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ, does not have God. He that abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. And so there that principle is shown for us. I need to abide in the doctrine of Christ to go beyond it, okay, or to fall short of it. That's what constitutes the sin. And while, yes, there are listings, there is not a one master list of all possible sins, what I need to do is go back to what God has said. I need to read, study the New Testament, learn what God's will is for me, and then follow it. And that's going to safeguard me against sin of any kind. It doesn't matter what it is. It will safeguard me against the committing of uh, sin before God. And in that case, God didn't have to, to name it because He told us what to do and how He expects us to live every single day.